Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we've got a few different things going on. Simon and Yanis are gonna be continuing to cut the pipe that we had a look at yesterday. Phil's coming round in a little bit and he's gonna get in the digger and also it's raining outside. So we're gonna go and check for leaks in the loft. Okay, good morning, we're back at the convent. Um, first job of today is to continue on cutting out these pipes that we, st well, that we left last uh, yesterday evening. We're going to cut them out in two more sections as well because they're quite heavy and obviously Yanis is up there on his own uh, so we'll cut a section out and then that way he can hold it, cut through it and then we'll take another section out close to the ceiling and then what we'll do then is we'll go upstairs to where we looked at yesterday with Ryan, we'll cut a piece of the boxing out so we can cut the pipe out and investigate them as well because I'm not sure if they go at an angle when they go through the ceiling or what they do and hopefully we'll be able to take the pipes out from above uh, and then that will leave the wall exposed for me so I can start the stud work as well. There's also there's another set of pipes around this side that's got to come out as well so we'll probably take them out as well. Um, and then it just frees the wall up totally uh, so that we can, you know, we can start the uh, stub work, like I say. Yanis is up there now. He's going to start cutting the pipes out for us. Uh, and then, as I say, we'll move to upstairs and take them out from above. So if you want to go up, Yanis, yeah. you, want to if you want to take that piece of wood out as well? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah give me. That's it. Thank you. And let me take that, hang on, let me take that bit as well. You got your glasses on, ain't you? Yeah, good. Okay, what we've done as well is we've pulled the pipe away from the wall and put, put a piece of uh, timber up there, as you can see. Because the pipes are so close to the wall, the saw's blade comes in and out and, it, and it'll hit the wall otherwise. So that's what we've done. We've just pulled the pipe out, put a piece of wood there. So we've got a clearance so that the saw blade doesn't hit the wall. Just makes it easier. Well, it's the only way to do it really because otherwise the saw keeps hitting the wall and uh, you know, you're never gonna get through the pipe. So Yanis is up there now. We set it all up for him. So he's gonna cut that first pipe off. Yanis, come on the other side. Yeah, you got it. That's it, well done, mate. Good. Thank you. Okay, so now you should be able to get to the big one now. Do, yeah. Should we try and put that piece of timber under the big one? Oh, that's quite a tough one, that one. You try and put it under here, yeah. I'm pull it. Right against the wall. Yeah. Okay. Okay, now you can cut that one. Yeah.
Right, okay, so let me show you. Show you how you change it. See this little piece here? Lift it up and let the blade come out. Okay? Now yeah, hold that for a sec. And then the blade, there's a little hole and a little piece. If you look in the end, see it goes in. Round that way, not round that way, yeah. because it's the wrong way, okay? okay? In there, and then that clips back down. See? Yeah. In, okay? Yeah. Alex, could you pass me a pair of safety glasses as well on the bucket, please? Oh. Thank you. Okay. All right? Yeah, it should be better now. Okay, stop. Good. Don't drop it. Well done. Good. Yeah. Okay, so we can't we can't get the pipes away from the wall anymore because they're really they're quite tight to the wall now. So what we're going to do is we're going to go upstairs now, um, take off the boxing that you see yesterday to expose them, uh, and then we'll tackle the next challenge of because. I say challenge because, as I can see, as the pipes go up there, they look like they bend, or there's a sharp bend in them, which looks like it is from here. So we might have a bit of, maybe we might have to take a, you know, a piece of the floor up as well in that corner. So we'll go upstairs, inspect it, and then we can go from there. That will be our next move, I think, rather than trying to, you know, risk damaging them ourself more than anything trying to cut the pipes that are that close to the wall uh, we might be out so we'll have another look in a minute but i think we'll go upstairs anyway and we'll, we'll find out what's going on upstairs before you know we go any further right come in Jan. let's go down do you remember which room it was I mean, that's obviously the big pipe, isn't it? And that's the smaller one. So that's been reduced and reduced again. That one looks like the same size as the one coming out, but that goes straight into concrete. Still concerned we might have to gun the floor out a bit here. We can always repair the floor again. So this obviously we're going to need to get to these pipes anyway, so I think what we'll do is we'll break a bit of this floor out just so we can expose the pipes and see where they're going. Let me have a look, yeah. Mr. What's that one there then? Right, so, Phil's here. Hi, Phil. And we're just hanging out by the toilet. We've got our lights, so we're going to go up and have a look for some leaks. And by the way, if you can hear some noise in the background, that's just Yanis and Simon making a right old racket, removing those pipes. 
Let's go upstairs. These are random twigs. Random twigs, sorry. I wish the lift was fixed. Yeah. Another set of toilets, we'll have a rest here then. Yeah. <laughs> um, before we go in the attic, check the gutter ring, because otherwise, if that's, if we don't know when that was last cleared, and if that's overflowing, there'll be an issue, so. Definitely, good idea. Plus I'm knackered and I don't want to go up the next set of stairs. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> so this one's flying all right. Doesn't look anything out the front. We can have a look at the window, but the back's where everything is. Of course, I mean, there's no trees in the courtyard, so these gutters, they're never going to get blocked up. Uh, but as you said, Phil. It's still the ivy around the back and everything else, so yeah. let's check that out. Good, this floor. Ooh. Watch your heads. <laughs> right. Um, oh, yeah, we do have a problem. We instantly have a problem. Ooh. Yeah. Um, yeah, but we have a real problem down there and we actually need to deal with it now. Yeah. So the guttering here, ordinarily gutters, your, your roof comes down on a normal uh, roof, pitch roof, it hits your gutter. And if your gutter overflows, it comes out one side because it's overhanging or goes out off onto the floor. Here, it's up against the building. So when it comes up over a certain height, it comes back underneath the tiles into the building as well as going that way. So if it's overflowing over the sides, you've got a problem. So we need to clear that and there's actually quite a few tiles off in that gutter, which might be blocking the downspouts. Yeah, it's all the way along. Yeah. You can't do anything about any water ingress at the moment. What we can do is stop any further. We're going to have to go along every single room here, find out which section. I don't know where the downpipe is. Basically, the downpipe is going to be blocked so the water can't get down it. So we've got to clear the gutters, clear the downpipe, and let that water get away. And then any more water can actually go where it's supposed to. What he said. <laughs> Those two are damn noisy. <laughs> we good still? Yeah. How just... many tiles are in it though? Because the tiles will start. <sighs> There's none that I can see. Oh, hang on, actually. I can see one here. Sorry. Because what I'm thinking is that we should get the tiles out. Yeah. Right out. We're starting to get closer to it, yeah. aren't we? Hang on. I'll grab that one quickly. Yeah. Um, is that the down? No. No, it's not. We're going to have to start getting the tiles out. So actually, you can see better here when you look over. Sorry. Yeah, cheers, mate. The lead flashing of the bottom of the mansard. Um, oh, oh my God. I'll hold this shoe, won't Got it. this goes out. <laughs> That's oh. a long way down. Oh. Right, that can go safely in that sink. It's going, it's going straight backwards. In. Yeah. So let's get this done. Have you got any... Uh... Oh, God, God. There we go. Gentle persuasion. <laughs> Great. Got a window that'll never close again. <laughs> Let's have a look. Nope. I'll tickle it in. I'll whisk the sweet nothings to it. And then we should be good to go. Okay. Hang on, we don't wanna we don't wanna smash it up. We don't wanna break it. Let's get back up there. So yes, there we go. Right now. Whoa. It's not, the problem is, it's, it's gone too high somehow. I've heard of uh, wooden windows warping, but never these PVC ones. That's weird. Basically, it's not lined up anymore, yeah? No, it's not lined up. Okay, so do we have to go this one up or that one down? You can see the difference. I'd say this one's got to come down. So this one's got to come down. I, I'm guessing. Uh, so what happens is you can lift these off, these are half yeah. barrel hinges, and then you twist these yeah. out to yeah. 
raise yeah. or lower. Let's do it. This is not what I had planned for today. <laughs> right, window fitter now. So we've got the pliers, but it's actually the left window that needs to be raised as opposed to this one that needs to be lowered. So we're going to do that yeah. now. Because that one still ignore the top, which we can't drop it anymore. This one scrapes on the bottom. So we'll do a bit of both. Yeah. Like which way am I turning it? Yeah, anti-clockwise. I've got a way better idea. What have... Hang on. Listen. Do these still work at the top and bottom? Yeah? Yeah. Those do, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Get me a screwdriver, uh -huh. undo that. That's uh -huh. the problem. It will still close. It's just a central latch. Fair enough. <laughs> that'll, that's, that's just problem solved. I like solved, the sound mate. of that. Screwdriver. <laughs> yes. Phillips, please. It's mine. Screwdriver. <clears throat> Screwdriver in the screw. Turn in the screwdriver. There we go. There we go. Right. Now, like magic. When you, when you here, put it together. No, here. Yeah. Get it. There we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. It's closed. Magic. Should we get on with the job that we were actually doing? Yeah, let's get on with clearing this gutter. Right. And I've, lost, I've lost the world's biggest torch somewhere. Right, this is the highest point. The downpipe's going to be somewhere here. Uh -huh. If I run downstairs to confirm where the downpipe is, because yeah. that's what we've got to get clear, yeah. if you, can you use either this or the shears yeah. just to cut away the edge of the ivy, the old, yeah. it's dead, yeah. which is growing into that, because if we pull it out, we can tap that down as well to stop some more water getting in, and I'll go downstairs. Philip? Philip? Is that you, Philip? I'm here. The downpipe is on your left. It's on my left. Yeah, so it's just past the window. It's going to get a bit difficult to... All right, we'll figure it out. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Mr. Cameraman. Let's have a look. Right. I've got my broom. You got a broom? Got my broom. Uh, all right, give me a sec. You might have to hold me, mate. Yeah. Hold me. I'll get you by the belt buckle. Right. I actually think I might have got it already. You ready for this? Because it's going to come flying out the downspout. Tile. Oh, it's gushing. Right, and now look at that. It's just all clearing. Hey, all clear from down there. A tile along with that. This is why they... Uh, yeah, we still need to clear this, Ryan, but that old, that's... That saved the fabric of the dormers because where it's all coming in is where the bottom of the wood frame for these dormers would be, so it would be rotting mm. the wood. So basically, we've just saved the convent, um, <laughs> which is partially true. So, yeah, that's it. No need to thank us, Billy. But um, yeah, we, you know. we, we will uh, we'll happily take donations to beer puns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Beautiful. Oh, lovely bit of sludge there, yeah. Yeah. That's lovely. <clears throat> Yummy. Okay, so that was an experience, but thanks a lot, Phil, for your expertise. Uh, so what we're going to do now is have a quick look in the attic to make sure that there's no leaks. Hopefully, fingers crossed, there's not, because there was actually a church just 10 minutes from here that was knocked down uh, the other day because of its roof. Yeah, so let's, if nothing else, let's check that the chapel roof's good so no damage gets done to that ceiling. Yeah. Okay, so we're entering the grenier now, the attic way. The uh, attic. And, uh, well, I can straight away see a bit of daylight at the top. Don't know if you can see that up there, but daylight is indeed shining through at the very point. So, um, well, not a great start to walking in, into the attic. Oh, no that's leaks. said though, right? No, there's no leaks. Uh, no, oh. there you go. 
It is coming through, you can see some water, oh, yeah. but yeah. that isn't much, that's right on the ridge. So the French roofing style is not to have ridge tiles. Yep. They butt them up against each other, and of course, when the wind catches them when they're old, they do just rip off. Yeah, that's not, that's not a great sign. It's not the end of the world though, most old places no, leak, so that's, of course. that's it's not, all right. It's not gushing through, but it needs to be addressed. No, do you know what, it's all pretty damn Yeah, good, really. tiny little, tiny little gap there, but that's nothing. I can see a tiny bit of daylight, but... Oh, what's happened here? Uh, oh, 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 we found the big leak. <laughs> Where's this coming from? Uh, uh, yeah, Look, it's um, dripping. You can see it dripping. Look at that. Uh, That's quite bad because look at how how much water's coming in. You can see how much is dripping. It's obviously yeah. it's damaging um, beam here. It's damaging the floor quite extensively as well. That's an issue. Oh, it's already cracked that. Yeah, that's cracked. That's cracked. One missing tile. The other thing is, I don't know if these are, but these now, when you change these, they're stainless steel. Yeah. And they last for, they're just for so long. Yeah, whereas these ones are just I, rust. I, I don't think they're stainless steel. No. And there's a few that are a bit. I would get a, a, the largest bucket we can find. Yeah. You can't stop that damage and this. No. But you can stop. Because what's below this? <sighs> More convent is what's well, below this. Yeah, yeah, but I'm just thinking how far across we're getting into. We're, are we, we're, we're above the office. Well, the bell's here. We're, yeah. We are. This, we're, this we're is above, where Billy's office is. Billy's office. Yeah. And that's obviously that's sort of done. And yeah. we can't have damage going through no. and ruining the... No, no, so no, no, no. So worst case, Ryan, before we go anywhere, do you want to go and or send Yanis someone to get a bucket? Yeah. Yanis, <coughs> est-ce que tu peux aller nous chercher un seau, s'il te plaît? Bien sûr, Merci grand. beaucoup. Un grand. grand seau, si possible. <laughs> grand. Ouais, si possible, le plus grand que tu peux trouver. Merci beaucoup. <sighs> uh, sorry, mate, behind you. Uh, oh, sorry, mate. <sighs> yeah, how's the bell looking? Um, well. <laughs> wow, it's holding up. It is holding up. Very nice, very beautiful. Very nice bell. Right. Um, a bit of water there, we'll just pretend we can't see that. I kind of want to... Well, you want to poke I'll, your little I head out? I want to poke my head out, but all the skylights have got basically no window putty in them, so I'm scared about the glass coming out. Yeah. Um, also, I don't really like spiders. Um, <laughs> right. Uh, my sp spider removal tool. Let's hope this window shuts afterwards. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Alex. Yeah, uh, yeah. There is a whole missing tile there somewhere. There's a couple there. of other bits. Oh, is this the chapel roof? This is the chapel roof. It's not an upside down boat. Oh, it's not. Yeah. Um, I say the roof. This is the roof. Obviously, that's the ceiling, and obviously all the plaster inside. That's all wooden slatted to make the shape. Yeah. Um, and then it's plastered underneath. So the wood will protect the plaster if there are minor leaks. Yeah. But you obviously really want yeah. to know about it. Yeah. It looks pretty dry. Yeah, I mean, there's a couple of little bits of daylight, but you're not seeing anything on the wood, are we? No. Yeah, and the wood looks nice and dry. Uh, yeah, so I reckon... Thank you for that bucket, Yanis. I reckon... Where is the drip? Let's watch it drip. Oh. Boom. We've looked for leaks, that bit sorted, wasn't really a plan of mine, but <clears throat> we want to have a look down the well and Simon wants to do some metal detecting in the garden. So Billy has stupidly left the keys to the digger here. I'm, but more importantly, <clears throat> behind the massive mound of garden shrubbery that's been cleared previously into this wonderful corner, that's where the well is. <laughs> So I've got to clear enough space for the digger to get in there so we can have a look down the well. A couple of reasons we want to look down the well. Always interesting to see what's down there. But we also want to find out for future if that's actually got water in it because that would be a good source of uh, watering for, uh, you know, the system out there, watering system for the garden, all sorts of things. It's free water ultimately. Um, so I've got to make a bit of a mess, which is kind of my forte. Woo! <coughs>
Okay, we're upstairs now, so this is the last bit of pipe that we got to cut. Uh, and then hopefully all the pipes will be done. Except we've got no grinder. I think we've killed the grinder people. Don't tell Billy, will you? He's on holiday. So, we may not be cutting the pipes out today. We might be buying a new grinder for Billy, or at least getting some more saw blades. So we might be coming back in the morning to do this bit. It's getting late now. Phil? Yes? What have you done? Made a mess. I can see that. No. Uh, well, sort of. So, to be fair, look, it, it, this is awful. You really shouldn't be putting a dig track and a digger through this, and this stuff's soft anyway. Yeah. But I've cleared the access to the well over there so we can get through to that. And that's what we wanted to get done, so... I've great. sort of... I've, I've repaired mostly what I did over there anyway and cleared up a bit, cleared yeah. that path. In all fairness, that half, the other side of the path, looks actually really tidy. Yeah. And considering the terrible weather we're having as well, you've done a good job there, mate. Kudos, yeah. kudos. This, this side, I just wanted a bit more access because that slab that Billy pulled up the other day, I'm just getting that out of the way. Yeah. I can level a bit of this out, but this isn't that important. It's more about being safe because I need to be able to get the big flail mower through here tomorrow. Of course, so. of course. Right, well, uh, I'll let you carry on in this beautiful French weather, um, do what you got to do, and stay tuned tomorrow because we've got something very exciting happening. Can I, can I tell the people? We are metal detecting. And after all this rain and using that thing there, that contraption <laughs> to scrape away the dirt, I'm sure we're gonna find some good old loot. So stay tuned for that. I reckon I'm gonna find some more mud. Probably. <laughs> right, let's get this rock moved. See ya. Uh.